What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2021 RockShox Yari. My name is John and if you're new here, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell to get instant notifications when I upload new content. I bought a 21 Yari RC back in May and I put a lot of miles on it since then. So I feel like I have enough time with it to provide a proper review. I have the 27.5 160mm travel version. It has a proven motion control damper with compression and rebound settings. There are a lot of clicks for both to dial in your perfect feel. For the air spring, it has the brand new updated debonair spring. The updated air spring is highly tunable and offers a super plush feeling to help with confidence on those steep descents. You have the option to add RockShox volume reducers to the air chamber. These little pucks allow you to run less pressure while adding a progressive curve to the air spring. The more the fork compresses, the stiffer the air spring gets. I have spent a lot of time at the downhill bike park with this fork and it impresses me more and more every single time. Not once have I ever bottomed this fork out and I'm a fan of bigger drops. I run 80 to 90 PSI with four volume reducers and this fork is super plush. I have an amazing off the top feeling while still maintaining the big hit support when I'm hitting the big downhill features. One of my favorite things about this fork is that it shares the exact same 35 millimeter chassis as the Lyric RockShox top of the line trail slash enduro fork. I can purchase the Charger 2.1 damper, the same damper in the Lyric and install it in my Yari. It would essentially be the exact same fork after that. This fork was an instantly noticeable difference compared to the RockShox Recon that came on my bike. The 35 millimeter chassis provides a nice stiff and sturdy ride, while the Boost 15 by 110 spacing has many options for different wheel setups, while also being wide enough to clear a nice size front tire. I currently run 27.5 by 2.5, and I feel like it looks a little small sitting between the stanchions. The minimum rotor size is 180 millimeters, but with a 20 millimeter adapter, you can easily run a 203 millimeter rotor with ease. The Yari is also way lighter than other forks I have used. Noticeably lighter, in fact. You can feel the difference once you install it. All in all, I am very happy with purchasing this fork. I would 100% buy it again and again. For $500, you have a super capable quality enduro fork that will take all of the abuse you can throw at it. If you are looking for a new fork, I highly suggest you take a look at the 2021 Yari RC, which is linked down below in the description. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. All clickable links down below in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.